Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video because I am finally going to be reviewing the new Olimar Cosmetics Blush Trios and her lip glosses. So if you want to hear my thoughts on these, see some demos and swatches, then just keep watching. Just recently, the brand Olimar Cosmetics, they released three blush trios and four lip glosses. I was so excited about this because I've been waiting for quite some time for them to expand on their line. And oof, girl, I was so excited to hear about blush coming out. If you know me or if you've watched any of my previous videos, all I can seem to talk about right now is blush. I am so obsessed. So this just added to more blushes that I didn't need, but it's fine. <laughs> so if you've never heard of Olimar Cosmetics, they are a fairly new brand. Uh, it's a small company based in Miami. Uh, it's started by one woman, a makeup artist, Gabby, and I just think it's awesome to support a small woman-owned brand like Girl Boss. Come on. I really like Gabby, and I just really like to support a brand like that, so I continue to purchase uh, the makeup from Olimar, and it's good. Like, her eyeshadows are so bomb. So, when she released two new different types of products, I was so excited to get my hands on them. So I did order four blushes and two of the blush trios, and I actually got a note uh, thanking me for my last review on the eyeshadow palette. So she threw in the dark rich palette for me as well. So excited about that. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. I have the last blush trio that I can show you and swatch for you guys. Again, it's just so awesome to be able to support these small brands, and I mean, they notice things like that. I don't know. It just makes me feel really good. So anyways, Let's just get into the products. So, Alamar released three different blush trios and four different glosses. So, each blush trio is $22. Each gloss is only $10. You can buy the bundle of everything for $96. You can buy the bundle of just the lip glosses for $32. So, that saves you $8 on the lip glosses and then $30 overall if you do buy everything. So, I first am going to talk about the blush trios with you guys because you know this is what I was most excited about. So, all of them have the same packaging. It's just really cute, simple packaging. Blue, it says Olimar in the front, and then of course in the back it tells you what shade you're getting. By the way, these are all called the Colorette Blush Trios, and here is what really makes me happy. So finally, a brand had enough confidence to label this one is for fair to light, this one is for medium to tan, and this one is for dark to rich. I've been so frustrated with brands being afraid to really just nail these are for this skin tone because a lot of times, I don't know if it's a marketing ploy, but they will just add inappropriate colors and not make it 100% for a certain skin tone and then it kind of tricks you into buying like them both or whatever the situation is. I don't know if brands are too scared or if it's a marketing ploy, but brands are really afraid to just say, hey, this is for dark to rich skin and this is for fair to light skin. And I just really am so thankful that Olimar Cosmetics freaking did that. like. These are pre-curated for your skin tone. You don't have to get a palette where you're going to get colors that don't look good on you. Like, duh. So originally, I had only purchased fair to light and medium to tan because um, I assumed the dark to rich was going to be way too dark and rich for me. Um, of course, I did get it thrown into my order, so I will be showing you the swatches of those. So I'm going to start off with the fair to light trio. This one has definitely the lighter colors in it. The two outside colors are very, very warm and peachy. So if you really don't like a super warm blush, you're not going to like this one. I do love this blush in the middle right here. It is the perfect everyday blush. So when I go to work, I actually just wear powder foundation and I want a little bit of a light natural color on my face. So that is what this middle color right here is perfect for. So this is the perfect everyday blush for me and my light skin tone. And I just think this is such a good palette for fair to light skin tones, especially if you love a good warm blush, you are going to love this palette, love this set of colors. So now let's move on to the medium tan palette. So this one is honestly my favorite. I do have a light complexion, but I love a good colored blush. So that is why I did pick this one up. And yeah, it's definitely my favorite. I like the colors in here more because I'm not really a warm blush kind of person. I don't know if it's in my head, but I just, orange blushes freak me out. I feel like they look weird on me and make me look sick. This one's a little bit more pink based. Uh, this shade Seclusion right here, uh, this is a little bit more of a warm blush, but it's more peachy than orange, so I really do like this blush as well. So I love every single blush in this palette. Toasted can be a little bit scary for my light skin tone, but I did just use a very 
loose brush like there's no density to it at all to use this and oh my gosh using a very loose brush with this applied the most natural look on my face when this isn't packed on this is so natural on my skin it looks like a real flush to my skin but this one is like a bright corally pink color really gorgeous this is actually majority of what I have on right now I have this shade mixed on my cheek and then also I did want to mix in a little bit of scorcher from the fair light palette so that is what is on my cheeks right now and then on my nose I did use this color for some natural color to my face um, but yeah I love every color in the medium to tan palette so this one is my personal favorite and then of course we have the dark and rich palette and oh my gosh I'm so excited about this palette if you are dark and you are rich I mean dark and rich skin tones this is perfect for you brands are so afraid to create palettes like this so I know I have a lot of subscribers who have deeper complexions and I'm so excited for you because look at this this is so awesome uh, they are so deeply richly pigmented and I think you guys are going to love this um, I actually obviously I can't really use this on my face so I did use it on my eyes today I mean I'm not gonna lie it's not my favorite eyeshadow quality but these are not eyeshadows they are blushes I didn't really have to pack these on they are so pigmented and Mm. So yes, you can make this work for eyeshadows if you are more fair and you do want to pick this up or support the brand You can get use out of this. So just so you know, I started off with deserted and I blended that in the crease of my inner corner Then I went in with oasis and kind of put that in the middle of my crease This one's a very pretty berry shade then I took Candela and this one is more deep red. I can see this looking up phenomenal in somebody with a really rich skin tone. I used this as my outer corner color and blended this halfway into the lid. And then I took Deserted on my finger and just kind of put that all over my lid to brighten things up a little bit. But yes, you can work this for eyeshadows too. And I didn't have any problems with this. So I do really like this. Obviously not targeted for my skin tone for blush. But man, they really did go in with this palette. And I'm so excited about it. So the finish of these blushes, I would consider them to be very unique. They all have a sheen to them. So if you're into super matte blushes, you're not going to like this formula. All of these have a sheen to them. I will say I did notice in the Fair to Light trio, these two are a little bit more shimmery than the rest of the palette which I don't know that I love I found they were almost a little bit too shimmery so by the way I've been wearing these blushes all week so I've really had a taste of all of these so I did take seclusion the other day because that adds more of a pigmented base down for me and then I would finish with one of these two on top to add a little bit more glow so these two mixed in with that seclusion color are lovely the shade right here doesn't have that really sheeny finish to it but the way I would describe the majority of these shadows is it's a sheen not really a shimmer but it's honestly a very unique finish I haven't come across a lot of blushes with this type of finish they're not extremely pigmented but they just have like a glossy sheen to them on the cheek that you can tell kind of livens up your face but it's not like highlighty which I really do like so the finish of these is very unique and I do like them I think they have a good amount of pigmentation to them where it's not super pigment packed unless you know you're talking in these colors they'll show up you can blend them out you can build you can do what you want because you can really build these up to get a really heavy cheek color or you can go light for the day especially if you want to use this palette as well this one is going to give you a lighter finish Yeah, so overall the quality of these blushes is really good. I really do like them. I mean, I wouldn't say, oh my gosh, this is the best blush formula in the world. A lot of times a blush is a blush. I've come across some pretty bad blush formulas in my time and this is not one of them. They're really good and I just really like the concept behind these blushes. So which one should you get? You know, if you're into a really warm blush palette, I think you will like Fair to Light. Or of course, if you are extremely fair, especially if you're fair and you really like warm blushes, Boom, right there, perfect. My personal favorite is the medium to tan. So if you like more of a pinky blush finish, I think you're really going to like this. And don't feel like you're limited to each of the trios just because, you, oh, maybe, like I'm not medium to tan, but I still bought this and this one's my favorite. And then of course we have the dark to rich. And I think, you know, if you have really deep skin tones in your struggle, finding palettes where they really just cater to you, here you go. This is awesome. I'm really excited about that. So yeah, $22 for three big blushes. That's a pretty decent value. You are getting 
quality blushes so i'm not mad about these i really do like these so let's move on to the glosses right here so like i said these are ten dollars you can get them in a bundle for 32 dollars so these are called the mother of pearl glosses so here are the shades we have luna which is kind of a clear with just some clear shimmers in them then we have Serenita, which is a sheer pink with gold glitters in it. Then we have Corazon. Corazon? Corazon? Listen, I think I should be saying this with a Spanish accent. My boyfriend speaks Spanish and he makes fun of my accent, so just let it be. And then we have this shade, which is more of a golden sheer gloss. And then we finally have Tesoro. Tesoro. <laughs> Um, this one is the most pigmented of the bunch. It's not really glittery. It's more of a metallic gloss finish. This is a very pretty light golden bronze. So gorgeous. I wore this the other day. So formulation of all of these. This is not a sticky gloss at all. If you're one of those who hates a sticky gloss, no stickiness to this at all. It feels like an oil almost. Um, yeah, nothing no stickiness going on here because of that i feel like it isn't as long wearing as a sticky gloss which i don't mind because glosses are just so easy to apply they're so comfortable i wouldn't wear these alone i would wear them with something underneath especially a lip liner that's going to increase longevity and also stop it from running as well three of these do have kind of glitters in them if you go like this i mean you can find kind of feel the grittiness but it's it's really not that serious. Yeah, I mean, so I would just describe these glosses. They're not sticky. They're not the most long wearing. That's kind of what you get if you do want a gloss that's not sticky. The three glitter shades. These are not very pigmented. I don't think that you necessarily need all three. I like to support the brand, so I got all three. They're just sheer, so I feel like you don't need all of them. The glitter duochrome effect is what kind of makes them different. Like this one is more gold. This one almost has more of a pinky glitter in it. And this is just clear glitter. I really do like Luna. This one's really pretty and it's going to go with everything. And then of course with the more metallic one is pigmented. I wore this with Kylie Cosmetics exposed lip liner and then this on top. Oh my gosh, it was the most pretty golden metallic lip. So I really, really like this one. I would suggest probably getting this one and Luna if you're deciding and kind of want to save. But you know what? Get the bundle. I feel like the bundle is a pretty good deal for glosses for $32. So yeah, I do like these glosses as well. And they're priced very, very fair. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to talk about the packaging. How cute are these little blue glitter tops? I like how they're all different shades. I don't know. It's just really cute, simple gloss packaging. <laughs> And, oh my gosh, I suck as a reviewer. These are a doe foot applicator, which I much prefer over brushes. I hate brush applicators. All right, so that is everything I have to say about the new LMR cosmetic releases. They are all pretty good. Like, I really like the blushes. I think the lip glosses are nice. I don't think you're going to be disappointed if you pick any of these products up. They're good. Way to go, Gabby. You did a really great job. Um, I'm such a blush person. I'm so excited you decided to come out with blushes. I cannot wait until they come out with highlighters. I can, they're going to be bomb. I mean, I don't know if they ever will, but you please come out with some highlighters. La Costa eyeshadow. I need that in a giant pan form for a, a highlighter. Like, don't even reformulate just make that a highlighter let it come bigger so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this review i hope you found it helpful i hope you decide to support this brand i mean i just i just feel really good about supporting this brand i don't know it's weird i normally don't feel this way i think it's really cool and different and yeah so I do try to review their products because I do want to spread the word on them. I hope you decide to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Thank you for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Have a great day.